Hello! Today I'm going to be travelling back in time, further than I have ever travelled before. All the way back to the Iron Age, so I've come to the Ancient Technology Centre in Dorset. So I'm thinking life is going to look pretty different. <laughs> Wish me luck! Now turn the hand of your clock back, all the way back, close your eyes, hold on tight and imagine the Iron Age. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Wow, that worked nicely. Right, let's see if I can find someone who lives nearby to teach me everything I need to know and show me the rope so I can survive here in the Iron Age. Let's go. After a brief explanation of the workings of my time travel, I learn that my Iron Age lady is called Donica. She seems happy enough to accept my explanation and agrees to take me in for the day. However, she does seem rather confused by my outfit. Time for an Iron Age makeover! So, Donica, what am I wearing? Do you have what we call a peplos or a tube dress? So it's a really long and wide tube of fabric, but it creates little sleeves because you have fibulae, so brooches made of bronze that are really nice and decorative on the top. So if you remove them, all the dress will fall apart. Okay. Um, we have different kinds of shoes. They are leather shoes. Mm -hmm. It's quite a good thing to have really long hair to show how much time you have to take care of your hair. Is that the same for the men as well, or is that just women? Weirdly enough, it actually depends. Every different tribe makes different coins. We usually try to portray our chieftain or queen or important person. So if you look at these coins, you might see that we have different types of hairstyle and beard styles. Wow, so that's one of the ways in which we know from our time how you lived. Donica, I can see your house is beautifully decorated. I didn't know you had paint. Do you have paint? Yeah, we do, do actually. But we usually use a lot of red, yellow, and when you mix red and yellow, you get orange. But if you are, say, the Chifton, for example, you have a house painted quite often on the inside, but also on the outside. So people can enter the village and that would be the house they have to go to to introduce themselves first. What's a Chifton? Here in this tribe, uh, we have Prodvok as a Chifton and he has a few, you would probably call them nobles. So they all follow him but also protect him and help him make decisions. Is the chieftain always a man? Actually no. <laughs> hey. uh, no, they can be either man or woman. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> is there a difference between a king and a chieftain? A chieftain is usually chosen by the community. A king or a queen is usually the daughter of the or the son of the previous king or queens. But every single tribe works differently. Some tribes even have, they have a group of people, a council, who takes all the decisions. Now we head outside where Donica shows me how she forages elderflower and a quite surprising stingy plant. Um, stinging nettles. Mm -hmm. The problem is, as they are stinging nettles, they might sting your fingers. So either you can be very brave or you can use a cloth. I'm going to use so a cloth. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a really good idea. <laughs> but I would never eat them raw. But as long as they are well heated, the sting disappears. I usually put them all in a great big pot and I just boil it on the fire. Otherwise, you could also put these ones with a little bit of honey in some boiled water and that's nettle tea. Sometimes it turns pink. Does it? Yeah. Is this the elderflower? It is. Okay. I actually dry it and I can make it into a tea as well, a herbal tea. Or I could put it in some milk with honey to make a sort of cream pudding. So I would pick no leaves at all, just the stem and it makes a little umbrella. Then I would shake them a little bit just in case there are some <laughs> poor little insects that might have been picked up with. And we can use it like this or leave it to dry. 
next, Donica got the fire going in preparation for some Iron Age baking. Before we start, Donica shows me how Iron Age people would wash their hands before eating, using herbs in water that actually acted as an early form of soap. I can't wait to find out what we'll be making. So, let's get ready for an Iron Age Bake Off! Um, so Donica, what are we making? Well, for the moment, we'll make bread. We start by adding a little salt and honey to some flour before adding in some water. Donica explains that there's no need to measure. If the mix is too sticky, you can always add more flour. And if it's too dry, you can just add more water. We stir the mixture until it starts to come together into a dough. That's really good dough, well done. Thank you. You must do that a lot where you come from. Next, we cut it up into golf ball sized pieces and stretch the dough into shape. And you would make it very thin. The thinner cooks, the quicker. Okay, so this is amazing. This is so easy to do at home. Um, flour, water, honey, and a pinch of salt. And all we've been doing is kneading it into a flatbread. So that looks I, perfect. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> it looks ready. <laughs> You can either put your dough onto a cooking stone or, believe it or not, straight into the ashes. At home, you can use your oven or a dry frying pan. And then you put the really hot, glowing embers on top of the bread. In less than 10 minutes, my flatbread is all ready to eat. Up, and we'll need to brush it with a little cloth, but for the moment, oh, it's hot. You have a really nice golden and crunchy little bread. Wow! <laughs> I'm so excited to try this. Mmm, crunchy. This is so tasty and I highly recommend you give this a go at home. It's so simple. If you do try it at home, do send in pictures because I'd love to see. And maybe experiment with all the different types of toppings that you can add on and see how creative you can get with it. I'll just get back to it in a bread now. Mm. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to make butter and it's incredibly simple because there's only one ingredient, double cream. To get double cream, Iron Age people would leave a container of milk overnight. The cream gradually separates out so that it can be skimmed off the top. The trick is the cream has to be at room temperature, almost a little bit warm. I couldn't believe how simple this was. I held the bowl close to my body to transfer body heat into the cream and then I just started whisking. After a minute, my milk had turned into whipped cream. Thick. Take a look at this. That's amazing. So there, there it is, that's whipped cream. Mm -hmm. That's it. And after a couple more minutes, I started to get yellow lumps forming that clumped together to form my butter, leaving a white liquid known as buttermilk behind. And look at that, that's amazing. We've just made our own butter in what, two minutes? That's yeah. fantastic. I'm so going to be taking this back to the 21st century and trying this at home. And I highly recommend you give it a go too. So Donica, do you sleep up there? Not really. The problem is the smoke level stops about there. So you wouldn't be very comfortable. Though, if there's smoke, there are no bugs or little mice or little birds. So that would be our storage space. So because the fire makes it quite smoky up on this level, it stops the birds and the bugs from getting up there. That's it. And to sleep in, we would have a bed there. Now, Donica, I always thought there was a hole in the roof of Iron Age roundhouses, I'm embarrassed to say. Um, <laughs> is that a common myth? We never ever put a hole in our roofs because you see the smoke goes from the fire, goes all the way up and it filters through the thatch. It goes through and goes then up in the air. So it's actually putting some soot on the inside of the house, which actually makes it fireproof. The smoke, it dislodges all the little bugs, so there's no birds trying to peck the thatch out and destroy our roof. So actually having a fire in the house without a hole is really practical. So Donica, thank you so much. I've had so much fun in the Iron Age today and seeing your beautiful home. Um, before I go, would you mind just pointing me in the right direction to your bathroom, please? The bathroom? Oh, sorry, the toilet. You know, where you go to the toilet. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
You see these bushes there? So yeah. there's a fence. Behind the fence, there is a hole. But I'll give you some privacy. Oh, lovely. Right. I think I'll wait till I get home. Time to travel forward to the 21st century. Close your eyes, hold on tight, and think of home. Lauren? Lauren? Have you finished yet? Where did she go? As always, do remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.